Wouldn't it be great to have an alternative to Ziploc baggies and plastic containers that are eco-friendly and durable? Here is the zip top container that claims to replace both of these and it's the perfect container for you. But are they really? This is my review on the zip top containers. I bought mine after watching their commercial, thinking, wow, these containers are amazing. I want to use these. Introducing zip top containers, the world's first reusable 100% platinum silicone containers. I bought their sandwich bags and their cups in their Indiegogo campaign. I got mine delivered in November, 2019. So I've been using them all this time. And I'm going to tell you the truth about zip top containers. Make sure you watch all the way till the end because in the end I'm gonna share two surprising things that I love to store in my zip top containers. My first impression was really positive. They come in a cardboard box only. There's no plastic wrappers. And so good job zip top on saving the planet. They are stackable. They feel really durable and sturdy. They close really easily. They come in cute colors. I chose the turquoise color. There's also the transparent color or a pink or peachy color if you like. They're made out of platinum silicone so not the cheap kind of silicone that has all sorts of other chemicals that can leach into your food. I was really impressed and really excited and then I started using them. One zip top can replace over 5,000 plastic baggies. Can these really replace Ziploc bags? No. And I'll tell you right away why. The biggest flaw on the zip top containers is they don't seal. So I'll show you by squeezing out the air and squeezing it shut as best as I can. And you can kind of tell, you see it right away, it puffs back up. It is not an airtight seal. And so for some products, that's not a big deal. But if you want to put crackers or cookies or an onion in your refrigerator, don't use these bags because they, they obviously don't seal very well. They don't have any lids, but the quality of the seal is not very good. I was very disappointed. I contacted their customer service because I assumed they would be airtight. If you claim to replace plastic containers and Ziploc bags, then you are implying you can do the same thing, which is containing them in an airtight container. So I got an email back and they basically said, well, we worked really hard on this. This was the best we could come up with. Zip top containers are not airtight. You need to keep them straight up. Otherwise they might leak. And it does, it does say here, keep upright. And they basically said, well, we hope you can still use your zip top containers. Good luck with that. So there was no apology for implying in their commercial that they were airtight. That stand up, stay open, and zip shut. Are they and I wasn't too impressed with their reply. And unlike baggies, the zip top containers are tough. Heat, cold, cars. Even kids can't destroy it. And they will try. This is Give it to me. They will always try. Yes, I think you can pour boiling hot water in these and they will hold up safe. I did not drive over this with my car. Haven't been committed enough to try that. They are very strong and sturdy. My kids haven't broken any of them and they have handled them as a snack container. Yes, they are strong and durable. They definitely live up to that standard. Zip top is freezer safe, microwave safe. If it were any safer, we'd be calling it Mr. Rogers neighborhood. And when you're done, just toss them in the dishwasher. The zip tops are fine. Yes, they are definitely holding up against heat and cold. I have used these to freeze items and I have used them to then defrost the items by putting the whole thing in boiling water and defrosting it faster. So that has worked perfectly. I have not used these in the microwave because I don't own a microwave and I haven't used them in the oven because I didn't see any reason for putting a container like this in the oven. Maybe with a different model, it, it could work as an oven dish. I, I haven't tried it, but I would think that they could live up to that. But when it comes to freezing in these, we come back to the same problem. They're not airtight. So I'll show you an example. Here are some smoothie cubes that I froze about a month ago. And as you can see, there is freezer burn all over these ice cubes. And 
for some products this might not be such a big deal but if you want to freeze items in a baggie you want it to be airtight so that it will prevent freezer burn on your foods and so they are not the best option maybe if you freeze something for like a day it would be fine but if you freeze something for a longer time it's not good long-term storage for your freezer and if storing your food perfectly wasn't enough, zip tops are great for taking meals or snacks on the go. No, they're not. They're not great for meals on the go. So I got the sandwich baggie and the snack baggie. Obviously, I wanted to take things on the go in here. You can put your sandwich in here and if you make your sandwich in the morning and then eat it in, at lunchtime, it might be okay. But if you want to make your sandwich the night before and keep it fresh in here, that's not going to work. You can use it for on the go, but it's not the best option that's out there. Same for the snack bags. I love to give crackers or snacks in here. Now, if you wanna put strawberries or cucumber slices in here, yes, that is a great option and it, it holds out fine. But as you can tell, the seal is not the best. I also took some of these in my bag on the go and guess what? These inside of your bag pop open. So you don't want to use these cup containers on the go unless you're gently holding them in your hand. But if you want to put these in your bag, no. Also, the foods that are inside, like a sandwich, they're going to get squished if you have other items in your bag. So when I stuff this in the diaper backpack with some water bottles, my sandwiches will be squished. So they're not great for on the go. No, they're not. Save the planet and save yourself with zip top containers. Yes, these are eco-friendly and reusable non-toxic storage containers. So they do live up to that standard. But to be honest, there is other options out there that I think might be a better fit. You know, we're not great at saving leftovers. But to be fair, we don't have great options. For example, the glass click lock containers, they are great for storing. You can put them in the freezer. You can put them in the oven, but not straight from the freezer. They have to come to room temperature because it's glass. But these containers are so great. They are airtight. They don't leak. They are square, so you can stack them in the fridge or freezer. These don't stack. I mean, they stack when you store them, but they don't stack when they're full of food. These are a much better option for food storage, if you ask me. This is a stasher bag. And Stasher has a bag that does seal. It actually seals so good that I have a hard time every time <laughs> I want to open it. It's kind of hard to open. It might be because they're kind of fairly new. Um, this one is from February, so it's, it's, in, it's been in use for half a year. I would rather use these than a zipped up containers because these are airtight. They don't have the stand up function, but to me, the stand up function is not the most important part of these containers. And Stasher does have a few models now that do stand up. So I would say go find yourself a Stasher bag rather than a zip top container. Stasher bags have the same qualities as the zip top bags, but they do have an airtight seal. So to me, they are superior in every way. They might not be the best for storing soups. So I might still store soups in this container, but for on the go, this is definitely my go-to container. Another option is plastic containers. I know, I know. These are not non-toxic. You should not put scalding hot soup in here, but you can use them for crackers and on the go because they don't break. And for dry goods, I think it's okay to use plastic. I already have these, so I'm not gonna throw them away and create waste. Of course, plastic is not the best eco-friendly option, but a plastic container is better than a Ziploc baggie. So please use plastic containers instead of Ziploc bags, because Ziploc bags definitely are not good for the planet. Option two, plastic containers. And with them, lids. Lids that somehow multiply like teenage plastic rabbits. But you know what doesn't multiply? The one that fits the stupid container. These Rubbermaid containers have stackable lids. You can stack the lids underneath and you can even stack more of them underneath. So they are also great for storage and you won't be searching for lids. They're all the same size. And then there's this container and also deeper containers. If you wanna use something that is reusable and cheaper, and airtight then a plastic container is an option that you could use but don't use it in a microwave okay 
So it might be obvious I'm not the biggest fan of the zip top containers. And the biggest reason for me is a company should be honest in their commercials. Are they perfect? No. But yes, they are perfect. So I'm happy that they are making a green product. They're not using any plastic in the whole production. That's great. But to have a misleading commercial that says that this can replace Ziploc baggies, even though this is not airtight, that is not right. And so with all of that being said, there is a few things that I do love to store in my zip top containers. And one of them is my cilantro. You can kind of store them in there with a little bit of water, kind of like a bouquet of flowers. The cilantro still gets to drink the water. It stays fresh much longer than it does in the little plastic baggie that it comes in in the store. These zip top bags work great for cilantro and other herbs. The final thing that might surprise you is cheese. Cheese is the best stored in a container that's not airtight because the cheese needs to breathe a little bit. If you have a container that's airtight, there will be condensation. The condensation will drip on your cheese and make the cheese moldy. So these non-airtight containers are great for storing cheese. They even have a, like a cheese wedge shape to them. So my cheese wedges fit perfectly in here. Storing your cheese in a zip top container is a great option. These sandwich bags are for sale at Target for $12.99. The cup set is for sale for $34.99. You can use them. They are good containers for certain things like for soups, they are great. But if you wanna buy them because you think they will be good for you, that's great. But um, I'm not gonna link them below because I really don't think they are the best option. I will put a link below for the stasher bags and the click lock glass and the plastic if you're interested in buying reusable plastic yeah let me know do you think that zip top should advertise these containers as non-airtight then give me a thumbs up if you want to see more of my videos you can subscribe and i hope to see you again in another video bye bye